Sarah Austin. Today we are here at Girls in Tech. This is a networking event for women in technology who want to meet and connect to learn new things. Let's go inside and have a look. How did you get started with Girls in Tech? I was the original founder and um, you know I'm definitely very passionate of not only you know the technology industry but also about helping women and mentorship especially when it comes to career um, and, and careers and finding your professional expertise. It originally launched in San Francisco then you guys made your way to LA and now you're in New York. How did that happen? Well basically the demand was really high. People in San Francisco and Silicon Valley um, that were in digital entertainment and other sort of niche sectors within technology were traveling around and sort of spreading the word organically and people were calling and asking for um, chapters to be in their cities. So why are you a girl in tech? Well because I am a girl and I work in the technology field so that's why I decided to come by and support this Girls in Tech event. How did you get your start in tech? Because you're a girl in tech and we'd all like to know for the other girls in tech. You know I was always a bit of a weekend warrior when it came to tech like when I was in college I bought a bunch of components and put together my own computer and my dad used to have me do you know tutorials of like Microsoft Office when I was in junior high just to make sure I knew all the current software and that was a long time ago so I've always been you know casually interested in it but if you'd asked me when I was in college if I would work in the tech industry I would have said no. What's your involvement in Girls in Tech? I just have been following it from afar now that I'm in New York so I'm excited that it's here now with us. How do you think that you have found a niche to fulfill what people need? I feel that you know, Girls in Tech would be able to uh, provide that opportunity for you know, the women in technology to, to learn, collaborate, uh, interact, grow. I basically label myself as an entrepreneur. I'm a serial entrepreneur and a social media enthusiast. And what kind of tip or advice would you give to a young woman who's looking to get into tech today? I mean, it's such a broad industry, so you, you know, there are a lot of girls who say, oh, I want to have my own show on the internet, and that's not really something I could advise anyone on because I fell into it backwards and I didn't know I would come here. But if you want to just really work in technology, you know, the best thing to do is just study up, you know, as much as possible. And then, I don't it depends. Like, do you want to be a programmer? Do you want to be in marketing or PR or, you know, graphic design? So it's such a broad field. That's why it's so great that all of us are so diverse, but we have our femininity in common. <laughs> That's a wrap for New York City's launch of Girls in Tech. I'm Sarah Austin, and this is Pop17.